there was a story that uh, when I was, I wanted to get a blue belt. And uh, I was, all I was trying to, to achieve was to become the best in my category, in my academy. I want to, you know, be the best there. And then I wanted to go there to beat others, yeah. to, to be recognized and get my reward, which is the blue belt. And I remember there was a fight, and there was a seminar on Friday night. And then I was beating all the white belts at the time and some of the blue belts too. I said, hey, hey, it's time. I'm going to get my, my blue belt. I already had three straps on the, on the white belt. Okay, I bought my, my blue belt. You my bought, bought it. it? I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> right. and, then, and then I was, because at the time there was no blue belts on the academy, right? But still, I want to just make sure that I have it. You know, usually what they used to do back then was they get a blue belt of somewhere, someone else, and give it to you. You take a photo, then you need to buy a belt. I wanted to be ahead of the game. I to buy it. <laughs> so my own blue got belt. It. <laughs> Law of attraction, right? <laughs> and then by the end of the, 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 the class, my the coach okay guys i'll see you guys tomorrow I said opa something's wrong here he didn't mm -hmm. see me what's going on here so i passed in front of him he didn't see i passed him twice he didn't see me on the third time he eye contact he said hey bro what's up okay you okay i said yes i'm okay and then try to wait, wait for it oh so, okay cool so i'll see you tomorrow I said, damn it <laughs> he saw me he knows i'm here and i'm not getting my blue belt it was the hardest thing for me was i it? felt terrible because I had expectations, high expectations, right? And I was very hungry. I was very hungry because what else you need to me to do? What I mean, I'm tapping all the black, blue, the wood, the blue belts, I'm beating them, and then I'm beating some of the blue belts, what else? I got really frustrated. Mm -hmm. And I came back home walking like 10 minutes you know, with my gi, and then, I, you know what? Forget about this, man. I don't wanna do this anymore. Forget about it. I went to the shower, threw my gi, threw my blue belt, and said, I'm not doing this anymore. Give up. Come on, how come I'm not a blue belt? What else do you need to do? I got very angry, right? And then three three days later, I got like, got itchy. I said, oh, I miss it, I miss it, I miss it. And then I start trying to get into terms to myself. I said, okay. And I've, I've always been very honest with myself. And this was one of the reasons that I think I trust myself and then I respect myself because like the honesty leads to trust that leads to respect and then when you do that have it yourself that's how when you start getting respect and trust from others too because you need to start from yourself right and I was really honest that's so like okay I want to go back in train but you know, three days ago you didn't get what you wanted you're crying like a baby you're gonna do that again if you don't get your blue belt next week no, 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 okay, I, I accept. Okay, I just want to go there and train. I miss it. Okay, cool. What if you are blue belt? And then one day comes the time that you think you are purple belt. You're going to be doing that same? No, 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 I promise. And try to deal with myself, liaise the situation. And he goes, okay, so what What you going to do if you want to progress on this? Because clearly the way that you are doing, by beating the white belts, it didn't get you. Didn't get to the blue belt. By beat some of the blue, blue belts, didn't get the blue belt. So what? What are you gonna go there for? I said, okay. So if this by beating others doesn't give give me what I always wanted, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna train for be as good as I can be. Instead of trying to beat others all the time, I try to expand all the areas. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was a big change for me. That's when, remember, I was training for the destination. I was training to get a blue belt. I was going to the academy to beat others so I can rec be recognized, so I can be rewarded. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for myself, it was for the belt. It was after these three days of reflection, that's one of the biggest lessons that I had. Mm -hmm. And then when I did, when I commit myself to go back because I missed it, the environment, I missed the training session, I missed the challenges of every day. And I, I said, okay, so this, from now on, I'm gonna, if everything I did didn't give me the blue belt, so you know what, I'm gonna train because I wanna be as good as I can be. And then I will train so hard, I'm gonna be so good that if we, at some point it's gonna be inevitable that I'm gonna get this blue belt. And if he doesn't give me the blue belt, I'm gonna be the toughest white belt in the whole bloody country. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's the, my main goal. Cause I cannot go that, 
there was no possibility to say, can you please, can you give me mm. my blue belt? That was out of the condition. We, we, had, we had another, we had uh, Miko from Chokes and More. I don't know if you've seen him. He does, uh, he does uh, like a big Instagram following and um, he just got his black belt, but he talked about that. Uh, his friend got promoted before him who he was better than. He asked his coach why he didn't get promoted, put an extra year on. <laughs> <laughs> he was a white belt for three years. Yeah, he was well, a white belt for three years, wasn't he? Yeah. But that's the thing. Why, what I realized, I realized that, yes, I was beating others, but maybe I wasn't beating the way that that will be with longevity, way of fighting, a, a, a way that I was going to be productive when, I, when, the, when I'm a brown belt man, maybe, you know? And I realized that, like, it's not about beating or, or, or others or, or losing to others. It's how do you beat others? How do you lose? Are you losing trying to do something that eventually is going to be strong? Because mm -hmm. it's about trying and, try and error. You, you have to f understand the language of jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. You have to understand your body and you understand the principles of it. That is not only about what you want to do. You need to deal with my people, my opponent's reactions. You know, and he can react different ways. So I need to be always prepared for the worst, blah, blah, blah. So you, when you understand the language, it takes time. And then everything that I was doing, not everything, but a lot of the things I was submitting people with, I was very monotonous. I was doing the same thing over and over again that not necessarily is going to work out against a black belt eventually. So I realized that on my journey, you know, but I, at the answer I realized on my journey, but my, my, my realization on that time when I decided to come back to train as a white belt and say, you know what, I'm going to train to be as good as I could ever be. Man, it's for the first time I had so many weight out on my shoulders because I, I didn't go to train to impress no one anymore. Because when I, I did everything to impress, I did everything that I should to impress and I didn't get the, what I wanted. So now, you know what? I'm going to enjoy the, the, the journey. Mm -hmm. You know what? I will train areas that I am not so confident, mm -hmm. that need work. Because now I don't care if the guy passed my guard anymore because... I'm not gonna, I didn't get the blue belt anyway, <laughs> right? So at least I expand in other areas. Guess what? Three months later, I got my blue belt and then boom, 20 years later, and I'm five degree black belt and time passed like that.